Good evening YouTube. So I wanted to show you how I set up my Trimetric TM2030RV. Anyway, what this device does, it's got maybe three main features. First two features, it'll monitor your voltage. There's the voltage of my 4S lithium battery bank, 15.9 volts. And then you can switch over here to amps. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm still getting 40 milliamps of charging current going into the batteries. So the sunsets almost happens. And you can also configure this to display watts, if you like watts better than amps. <clears throat> and then what it has here, this is a state of charge, or they call it percent full. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Right now we're at 98% this morning. Just after sunrise, it was about 66%. And it was kind of cloudy today, so we didn't quite get a full charge in. But the way this works is it's got one wire hooked to your system positive bus. That's where it measures the voltage from. And then there's two wires that hook up to a current shunt. And I showed you that in the last video. There's a little current shunt between the system negative and the battery negatives. So basically what this device does is it every second it says how much current is flowing and in this case it's 10 milliamps, 0 0.01 amps. So it says there's 10 milliamps going into the battery times one second is 10 milliamp seconds. And then the next second there's 10 more and then all of a sudden it drops down to zero. And in fact what I could do is I'll flip on a load here. And now all of a sudden we've got current flowing out of the battery. It's now negative. So at this point the trimetric is decrementing amp seconds out of the battery. And then if we were to turn that load off, now it goes back down to zero. So what it does is it just keeps a running total of amps and time into the battery and amps and time out of the battery. And at the end of the day, you end up with a number. Now, this one, you can see it went from 98 to 100. So I think it hit my reset. I may not have my automatic reset setting correctly. So that's something I'm still working on. But anyway, let's go into the parameters here. So there's a whole bunch of parameters that control how this thing works. There's a select and a reset button. So what you need to do is hold the select button in until you see P1 flash on the display there. So if we go here, and then you let go as soon as you see that P1. Parameter 1 is 15.9 volts. That's what they call the charged set point voltage. So basically says if you get above 15.9 volts, that's considered charged. P2, that's your set point amps multiplier, and this is in percent. So it says you're at your charged voltage and the charging current drops below two and a half percent of the battery bank capacity. In my case I've got about 130 amp hours so two and a half percent of 130 is roughly three or four amps. So it says if you hit 15.9 volts and the charging current drops below four amps that's considered charged. And then the next parameter, P3, there's the amp hours. So you set your amp hours there. So those first three parameters, there's a voltage, a current, and a capacity. And those three parameters work together to re reset that percent full. And as I add battery packs to my battery bank, I'll bump this up. So let's see, that's parameter three, number four. This tells you whether you display amps or watts. If you change that to W, you can go to watts. 
And then let's see, number five is the days before recharge. So the idea here is you could program in, say, 30 days and say, hey, if it's been 30 days since I've hit 100% charge, I need to manually recharge the battery and it'll flash an alarm. P6 is days before equalize. And when I had the lead acid bank, I had that set to 30 days. So I said every 30 days, flash this reminder. So this little yellow LED here will flash. And it'll say time to charge, time to equalize. With the lithium, you don't have to equalize. So I have that off. Number seven is your menu level. I have it set to level three, which gives you all of these options. Number nine is the low battery set points. So I guess this must be a capacity setting. So you could say if you get below 50% state of charge, sound the alarm. Uh, number 10. So this parameter 10 is what's called the efficiency factor. That's a percentage and with lead acid batteries that might be low 90s or you know whatever number you want to use it actually varies but this says if I have say a hundred amp hour battery and I pull a hundred amp hours out how many amp hours do I have to put back in to charge the battery and with lead acid batteries, that might be like 90%. So if you pull 100 amp hours out, you've got to put 110 back in to charge the battery. You've got to overcharge it. With the lithium cells, I have 99%. So lithium cells are very efficient charge-wise. If you take out an amp hour, it takes one amp hour to recharge them, basically. And then number 11, this is your shunt. So I have the small 100 amp shunt. They also have a 500 amp. So there's that. Number 12, automatic resets. This is what controls this percent full automatically resetting when the, the voltage is right, the current is right. There's also one other parameter, but if you turn it on, it'll it'll automatically reset this 100% if you get to the right conditions. If you leave it off, it's just going to keep a running total of amps in, amps out. So that's number 12. Let's see, 13. Oh yeah, so 13 is your low voltage battery volts low. Number 14. So this one is one I might have to play with. This is the last automatic reset parameter. Yeah, so what you can do here is you can specify how much additional time at the charged voltage, the charged current, and then you can specify how many extra minutes you need to spend there so you could say I've got to be above 15.9 volts the current's got to be below 4 amps and it's got to be that way for 30 minutes to consider it charged maybe 10 minutes 20 minutes so this is something I probably need to adjust because like like you saw I went from 98 to a hundred percent and that was just because I was at 15.9 volts and the current was low. But the reason the current was low was because there was no charging going on, not because the battery was charged. So I may need to set this. I might try uh, changing that. The way you change a parameter here is you hold both buttons down until all three lights flash. So let's try that. Oh, there we go. And this one, I'm going to have to look at what this one says at 9, 10. So then you say select. Basically, the idea is you, you kind of guard against, you know, maybe it just hit the 15.9 and then a cloud came over and it dropped the current off. This one would say, oh, it's charged because the current fell off. But what you have to do is have the current hold at a low value for some amount of time before you reset that. So that's one I still need to play with, I think. 
auto entry this I think this one you can have multiple profiles so if you had like a 12 volt battery bank I've got a 16 volt maybe I, I get a 24 volt you could actually store all of these parameters in one of several different profiles so you could just switch back and forth and then to get out of the parameter mode you just hit select once you hit parameter 22 and now we're back at volts and you can see now I'm pulling 100 milliamps out of the batteries you can look at there's your amp hours so it's saying it's now negative 0 0.06 so that's saying there's 60 milliamp hours to get back to a full charge this morning it was at 66 percent so that says I used 34 percent of the battery capacity so 34 percent of 130 amp hours so there's that one and then there's your days since charged it's a hundredth of a day it said it got charged today and then days since equalize I don't have that uh, enabled so it's been 25 days since I last reset it <laughs> I guess uh, that's your watts so I'm pulling 1.6 watts out of the battery right now there's your basic three functions though. You get your volts, amps, and state of charge. And I find this state of charge is really handy. For instance, I've got a two kilowatt hour battery bank right now. So every 10% is 200 watt hours or 0.2 kilowatt hours. And earlier this week, I got down to 49% state of charge which means I pulled over a kilowatt hour out of the battery bank and it charged back up in that same day so I was able to use 50 percent of this battery bank capacity easily so that that's pretty good so yeah if you have any questions about the trimetric I'll put one of my earlier videos uh, where I installed the trimetric on the lead acid battery bank it's the same thing on the lithium just the parameters are different but yeah, it's working just fine, running at 16 volts, or I guess we're at 15.9 right now. So yeah, if you have any questions about that, uh, post up in the comments section down below. Check out some of the other trimetric videos. I'll put some of those over on the left side. And as always, thanks for watching.